Knife Heads, welcome to the Knife Nut Channel. And today, I'm going to do a pocket dump, and I'm going to be talking about this upcoming video. It is going to be a banger. So you need to tell all your friends that likes hard use videos to come check me out. Uh, I'm going to say by tomorrow or Wednesday, this video is going to come out. And it is going to be an absolute banger. But I'm going to show you guys the knife real quick. And I'm going to do stuff in this that you have never seen me do before. But let's get into the pocket dump real quick. Let me show you guys what I'm carrying. And then I'll show you the knife that I'm going to be doing the hard use on. But first up, y'all know I be carrying me a knife crazy slip every day, every day. This time, I am toting in it my GEC. 86 rust orange bone it has got the 440 c stainless steel blade it is a single blade it is straight down broadway you guys see look at that bolster look at the bolster i love it it's got like a tree with eight acorns on it and it says GEC at the bottom of it. You can see it's got brass liners. Brass pins. It's straight down Broadway. I done showed you guys. You, you guys know I be loving me some uh, stainless steel. I don't shy away from it. It's got the best blade on planet earth the clip point I'm, I'm just showing you guys the tank stamps that's all on both sides that is my main carry for today i will use this now it it is not factory sharpened. The guy I got this off of sent it to a professional and he sent it, or he sharpened it. That's what he told me. And this baby is razor sharp, let me tell you. It has got an edge on it you wouldn't believe. But it's got half stops. That is knife number one. My big knife. In my knife crazy. I'm actually, believe it or not guys, I know, I like carrying other slips. I don't shy away from them. But, today, I went to go grab this uh, knife. I know, the knife that usually rides in this knife crazy slip ain't in it today. It's actually riding solo just down in my pocket. That is the burnt barn board jig natural bone copperhead in the Warren Cliff single blade. Traffic's out bad today, guys. You gotta just overlook the traffic. I know, I took it out of its home. Shame on me, but. I had to put this in it. I had to put my stag 
Stockman in it. Look at that. Look at that. Man, we gotta love some uh, stag around here. This is a 1992. I know that because it says 1992 on the tank stamp. Sheep's foot. Clip point. This one has got a pin. It's also in stainless steel. It's got SS. 1992 Stockman. And this one is, what's the pattern number, Biggie? 53032. So this is a 32 pattern. And it's riding in the knife crazy natural leather slip. No dye on this one. Okay, that's what I'm carrying today, guys. Now, now I'm going to show you this knife I'm going to be doing a hard use on. I, I, I've been thinking about doing these hard uses. I have done a few. But I'm thinking about getting the knife, showing it to you guys, talking about it just a little bit, and then doing the hard use on it. So, with that being said, I got this cold steel. It's in this Kydex uh, sheath. I don't know if I like this part. It's like a little dangler. It's got Velcro on it. It's got a button. Now, I don't know if I'm going to like this sheath. I might have to have uh, someone to make me a, a sheath for it. But for the time being, we're rocking this Kydex sh uh, sheath. It's got a little button up here. Pop it. Open it. That folds back. Whatever. Take your finger. You stick it right there. Pop it. It comes out. Now this baby has got G10 handles. Check that out. I think it's called Fat Carbon. I ain't for sure what it's called, but I know it's... That ain't going to slip. Your hand is not going to slip. And it's got this like little bar angle right here where you put your finger right there. So if you're stabbing something, if you're stabbing something, you put your finger right here. And that's going to block any slippage. Now this is also the Razor's Tech. It is a 5 inch blade. 4 inch handle. It's got jumping up here. So if you want to grab it and do some jumping action, you can. That is real aggressive jumping, too. This was made in Taiwan. It is 4116SS. Steel, I guess that is. Made in Taiwan. It's screwed construction. It's got, like I said, it's got like a finger chill right there. I'm going to be doing a hard use on this five inch blade. That is the from the tip to the it, to the end of the sharpening choil. I was trying to think of the name of it. Sorry guys. It's got a lanyard hole. I don't think I'm gonna put a piece of leather in it, but it's got the like I say. That's it. And if you guys want to see me put this baby to work, y'all need to go ahead, hit the classy button. It's that big red one. Hit the notification bell. And like the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know that someone on here has got something out of this. 
and this is getting ready to get put to work i have never sharpened it i have never done nothing to it so it's going to be coming just like it's right out of the box if it's dull if it's got anything you guys is going to see all the flaws and all the non-flaws that's it so y'all stay classy you hear and let me hear from you